Welcome to Community to Watch. Your host today is Laura Blakeman, and I'm here to introduce Blanca Varela. We're going to discuss this week the U.S. Census 2010 process. Blanca, thank you for coming. Thank you so much, everybody, for having me. Thank you, Laura, for inviting me. Mm -hmm. It's a pleasure to be here, be representing the city and, and working on this effort with the census, making sure everybody's counted, um, and uh, starting with the process of uh, organizing our subcommittees. Okay, great. What is the census, Blanca? Can you give us some information on that? The census is, um, is mandated by the Constitution, um, mm -hmm. and it's a way of uh, the United States counting every single uh, person that's living in the United States. All 50 states participate, including the District of Columbia and mm -hmm. Puerto Rico. So when is the next census? The next census will be 2010. The first census was in 1790. Uh, the last census was in 2000. The kickoff day for the next census is 20, April 1st, 2010, and the mailings will be in March. We'll be talking more about that later. So how many questions are in the census? The census, for the first time in its history, uh, has developed a shortened version of the, of the questionnaire. It's 10 questions. It is, for the first time, also bilingual. So those uh, people uh, that are monolingual, Spanish-speaking, and other languages will receive a census in their native language. Um, it is 10, qu 10 questions, and it takes approximately 10 minutes to complete. That is great. Um, who should respond and return the census questionnaire? Everyone, every single person living in the United States, particularly in Casa Grande must respond, irregardless of citizenship, irregardless of age, of ethnic background, of um, language spoken, of gender, of sex, everybody, all of us must respond. I understand that it's an easy um, form, 10 questions, you said 10 minutes. So um, a person that lives with a big family, how do they know who they need to count within the household? The tenth question of the census questionnaire, it um, begins the process of listing everybody in your household. Mm -hmm. So question number ten starts asking you about uh, who you are, uh, your sex, your uh, or your gender. I'm sorry, your gender, um, your full name, and it goes on uh, to you can list up to twelve people living in your home in that first questionnaire. If you have more people living in your home, more than 12, you can request um, a, another page and the census will mail it to you. How long must someone live in Casa Grande to be counted? Um, if, if you are a winter visitor, yes. if you're a winter visitor out there, mm -hmm. you must live here six months plus a day in order to respond as part of our Casa Grande population. If you live in Casa Grande and sleep in Casa Grande and this is your primary home, then you must respond to the census. Uh, if you sleep here and you eat here and you live here, then you must respond. Otherwise, if you're a winter visitor, six months plus a day. Uh, no matter if you're a child, no matter what age you are, um, no matter if you are a U.S. citizen or a non-U.S. citizen, this census count is irregardless of citizenship. It has absolutely nothing to do with immigration, with our status uh, here. Um, if I am here from Mexico, from Honduras, from Colombia, the government really just wants to know that mm -hmm. I'm utilizing services and that I, I, I am part of the Casa Grande population. Great. Now how is this census data used? What is it going to be used for? The census data is utilized in many different ways. There's $400 billion that are going to be allocated to different communities in uh, the next 10 years. And um, so we want to make sure that everybody's counted. So some of those dollars are allocated um, to our community. Remember that the count of the census based on the population of our city is how city develop, our cities develop their trends how they plan their schools, how they plan their roads, how they plan for elderly services. 
Um, so if we short counted and we build another school and we have more children than that, that school can house, then we mm -hmm. will have a problem in the future. So also another very important um, uh, utilization of the census is the congressional re uh, redistricting. Um, mm -hmm. It is important because depending on our population numbers um, depends how many congressional representatives, uh, state representatives, and also local to our local um, uh, offices uh, can be elected mm -hmm. and selected. So we would have more voice in the legislation than Absolutely. we do now. Absolutely. Great. And remember that for everybody that is counted, the city potentially can um, bring in revenue of $1,200 per individual per year times 10 years. Wow. So if, if one of us uh, for some reason forgets or is afraid um, to answer the questionnaire and does not mail it in, it is, it is a, um, a big amount of uh, tax dollars that we lose. What is uh, Casa Grande doing to participate in the census for this year? Casa Grande is one of the few cities in Pinal County that has organized and has collaborated with a, a Census Bureau, the Regional Census mm -hmm. Bureau uh, in the state um, to form what is called a complete count committee. Mm -hmm. And the city is very in, has been very invested and very interested in making sure that everybody is counted. Um, mm -hmm. And so last year, um, the mayor formed uh, complete count committee, which basically the purpose of the subcommittees is to make sure that everybody from the population in Casa Grande is included. The faith-based population, mm -hmm. um, the government section, um, the social service uh, part of it, the school and education system are part of it, the elderly, the veterans, everybody. We want to make sure that everybody's represented, everybody has a voice, everybody has ways to disseminate the word about the census, how important the census mm -hmm. is, and the impact in our community. What uh, community populations in Casa Grande have been the hardest areas to reach? Traditionally, um, mainstream have been minority populations, mm -hmm. um, specifically Hispanics. Because, of course, um, a lot of times the census is associated with a government, um, as a government entity, and so sure. Hispanics here that are in this country um, uh, with no documentation or undocumented have a lot of fear that that may be connected in some way uh, to them being maybe deported or that ha the census has absolutely nothing to do with that. The census has nothing to do with immigration, mm -hmm. uh, any, any aspect of immigration. The census is just the way in which the United States counts every mm -hmm. single person living in this country. Um, for planning purposes, emotionally really, it, it, the census also gives us a sense of who we are becoming as a nation, what kind mm -hmm. of people are moving here. Uh, how are we um, uh, developing our trends, our ethnic trends? So there's a, a lot of emotional value as well to the census, um, to our communities and to this country. Okay, great. And um, based on that note, um, how else do you think a person would be more comfortable? Is there a confidentiality within the census? How does that work? The census is, is by, by federal law, the census is confidential. Um, it, all the information that is gathered through the census is confidential. That means that um, only the census office will have access to that information. Only for counting purposes. That is it. Um, so if you see someone uh, coming to your door or if you see the mailing from the census and uh, you will recognize it, um, you know that that piece of paper that you mailed in is completely confidential. Um, that mm -hmm. whatever you include in that, in that piece of paper, uh, it's only going to be used to count how many people live in the United States and how funds will be allocated to different communities. Okay, what happens if someone doesn't respond to the census? There's going to be a first mailing in March. The very first mailings are going to be out in March. 
if mm -hmm. an individual, if I don't respond, a okay. second mailing will be done by the census. Um, if a second mailing is not responded to, then you will have a visitor from the census office mm -hmm. knocking on your door. Uh, and the visitors or the census workers, I should say, they're going to be identified with, um, they're going to have proper identification. They're going to have um, a census, an official census tag. Uh, they will identify themselves. Remember, they, they have been sworn in um, as members of um, uh, workers of the, of the uh, United States, on behalf of the United States. So they will have proper identification with them when they come to your door. So they will have an official ID badge somehow? They will. They will. Possibly a, a census bag or something like that as they well? Will. With they the will. They will. They okay. will. They will have not only um, their identification, which is with them at all times, mm -hmm. they will also have a small handheld computer. Um, they should identify themselves immediately, mm -hmm. um, uh, census workers, and basically they're going to be knocking on your door to make sure that your questionnaire is, uh, is completed and mailed in. Okay. Great. What can someone do to help the Census 2010? Um, you know, getting involved in our community, we have meetings here at the Recreation Armadillo Room the last Friday of each month. Um, you are invited to participate. The, the school subcommittee has their meetings the last Thursday of the month. Um, the Chamber of Commerce have meetings. Uh, the faith-based organization, they're holding their meetings. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe on the last Wednesday of each month. If you can go on our website here at the city of, in Casa, of Casa Grande and find out where those meetings are. We invite everybody to participate in our meetings the last Friday of each month here at the Armadillo Room uh, at 8 o'clock. Uh, we're very friendly and we're very short. We don't take a lot of your time. But if you have um, a presence, if you have resources, if uh, if uh, you want to uh, participate, please call the city here and join uh, one of our subcommittees. Uh, come to our meetings. Everybody is invited, and the more, the merrier. Okay, I've been part of those meetings as well, and I believe it's an informal group, and everybody goes in and pitches in what they can and what they don't know. We learn through the process, and uh, you also make them feel welcome as well. Yes, thank you. And, you know, one of the things that every single one watching can do is spread the word. Um, when their questionnaire come to, comes to your home, answer your questionnaire, return your questionnaire. Talk to your neighbors about the census. Talk to your friends about the census. If your child comes home with a picture, um, with a drawing about census twin, 2010, I'm sorry, please converse with them. They also, there's school programs that are going to um, be implemented, special projects that are going to be talking more to the students about the census so they can bring the information home. We know that we trust our teachers, we trust our ministers, we trust our church-related, um, our businessmen, uh, church-going people, and mm -hmm. so we really need to connect with everybody around us to make sure that we find out all the facts about the census, uh, that all the myths are dissipated, and that you answer uh, your questionnaire when uh, you receive it. Okay. For the viewers, can you remind everybody when is Census Day? Census Day is April 1st of 2010. Okay. Uh, there's going to be a, a, you will start seeing more and more press releases and PSAs in your televisions, both in English and in Spanish. Uh, I know if you watch some Spanish television, um, there's already some coming out uh, because we know the importance of, of the census. Um, so please be watching and all your media, all your media will have PSAs about the census, when the questionnaires are going to be mailed, what they're going to look like, what your envelope will look like. So when you get it, please do not toss it, it's not an advertisement. It's <laughs> something very important to, to us, to all of us, every single one of us, your child, your parent, ourselves, to make sure that we uh, would continue to develop our beautiful city with the appropriate funding and in the appropriate way. Okay, and can you remind us when the questionnaires will be mailed so the homeowners know about when to expect to receive those? The, the first mailing, the general mailing, will be in March of 2010. Um, that's when the first mailing will go out. Remember, if for any reason um, you uh, 
forgot or you lost your mailing, you will receive a second mailing. Um, if you do not respond to those mailings, you will get a visit from a census worker. Um, to mail a questionnaire when you first get it costs you 44 cents. To get a census worker come to your house and make sure that you return that questionnaire cost us all $400 in taxpayer money. So we also need to be very self-conscientious about you know, our federal funding and our spending. And if we can do it for 44 cents, it's an easy thing, um, then please go ahead and mail it. Also, the churches, our complete account committee is working on having centers, dropping centers, um, information centers, along with the census, the, uh, the Bureau will also have uh, different centers um, to answer questions and to drop the questionnaires uh, during those months. So you are going to have plenty of opportunity to make sure that you get assistance if you need any assistance or if you need a, a questionnaire in another language uh, or you need a translator, those centers are going to be available to all of us. Um, that information as we, as the city of Casa Grande gets it, will be also publicized on this channel and in other mediums. So please be pending about um, all the information coming out through uh, about the census that may be impacting you. Um, so yes, you can you can return your census. You can get assistance to file to uh, to um, to uh, turn in your census. The churches are going to be available. Social service agencies will be available. There's going to be a homeless uh, um, um, dropping set people that may not have a permanent residence here in Casa Grande. However, they they live here in Casa Grande. Those those individuals will also be counted. Um, and um, the city, of course, you can always come to the city and someone here will direct you to where you need to be, so. Great. And how has the Complete Count Committee been with their efforts in the census? What type of activities have been going on? Um, it's the subcommittees, the Complete Count Committees have been in the planning stages. Uh, they have developed a series of activities, particularly the school, the chamber, to be uh, participating in all events throughout uh, the next few months. Um, I know the Youth Commission, for example, has agreed to do um, a promotional banner for us with a census logo, and they will be having a booth um, at the um, um, night out uh, event that is being sponsored by the police department, and they're going to be inviting all citizens to um, put their hands on the canvas, uh, there's going to be paint, it's going to be a very fun activity. And so that's another way that you can be part of this wonderful census effort. Uh, come out, join us for a safe night out, learn more about safety in our neighborhoods, and also learn more about the census, pick up a brochure that